And we have yet another series in the books as the Dallas Stars are able to take care of the Minnesota Wild here in game number six up in Minnesota, four to one. And to be honest, the only point in this game where it was close was, I'd say, the first 10 minutes of this game. I thought Minnesota played very well at the start, but they just couldn't hold on as the Wild able to pull away with goal scoring plenty. But before we do get into the rest of this recap, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new, new to the channel. If you would also like to help out the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video. It does help out with the algorithm and does help the channel grow, pushes it out to more people. So if you guys want to help out, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, but getting in to this recap, boy, oh boy, the, the Minnesota Wild just couldn't get it done on home ice. Looking at the team stats, 33-24 shots for the Stars, 0 for 2 for each team on the power play, hits 25-22 in favor of the Wild, blocks 21-14, and then giveaways 8-6 in favor of the Stars, only giving it away six times. But they got goal scoring from the guy who's been getting it done all playoffs, probably the hottest player in all of playoffs, Rupe Hintz, starting the goal scoring off, getting his fifth of the series, fifth of the playoffs, White Johnson getting his first ever NHL playoff goal, Mason Marchman making up for the miss earlier in the the first i believe it was the second period earlier in the second he makes up for it with 0.5 seconds left in the second on that little breakaway uh freddie goudreau getting the wild back into it for a brief moment there in the third but max domi putting the nail in the coffin under a minute left to go to seal the deal for the dallas stars and looking at team stats Max Domi actually did have a pretty solid game. One goal, one assist. Robinson chipping in with an assist. Rupe Hints with the goal. Marchman, one and one. White Johnson getting on the board. He actually, for a rookie, 15-29 worth of ice time is pretty impressive. Dadnoff, uh, who assisted the Wide Johnson goal, Johnston goal, 16-47. Tyler Sagan chipping in with an assist as well in this game on the Rupe Hints goal. So they got it done by committee, I thought, today. They didn't really rely on one guy too much, although Rupe... Dude is like on another planet. He is playing out of his mind. Jamie Ben a little quiet as well, uh, but I'm sure he'll get things going. On the back end, Suter getting an assist on the day. Haskinen, no points on the day, but three shots on goal, one hit, two blocks, one giveaway, one takeaway. Had 28-25 worth of ice time. That is absolutely insane. And Ottinger, man, this guy, the Otter, is just so good between the pipes. Dude, just... He could be right now the favorite for the Conn Smythe in my mind. If it were to come to a goaltender, I'd say either him or if the Florida Panthers can find a way to beat the Bruins, it could be Bobrovsky if he has a solid playoff. But Ottinger just sees everything, stops everything, plays great, doesn't make too many mistakes, and it definitely helped in this series. Stopped 23 out of 24 for a 958 save percentage in today's game. Looking at the Minnesota Wild, it is yet another year of heartbreak, another year of uh, exit out of the playoffs, whether it's the first or second round. And for the Wild, I mean, their Wild fans are just so used to it, and I feel bad for them because it's the state of hockey, and most people up there, that's what they live and die by. And the NHL team just can't get it done. Boldy minus three. Zuccarello minus one, had no points on the day, only two shots on net for 20-53 worth of ice time. Gaudreau got the lone goal, was a minus one. You got Johansson minus two, Kaprizov minus two with no points on the day, only three shots on goal for 21-29 worth of ice time. So your, your top guys aren't getting it done. Hartman, no points on the day. Uh, Felino, nothing on the day. Sam Steele, nothing on the day. So when your your top guys are not buzzing, you're not going to produce and you won't win many hockey games. That's just the way the cookie crumbles in hockey in general. On the back end, Middleton with an assist. Klingberg minus one, Dumba minus two, Spurgeon minus two, no points on the day. Between the pipes, he had Gustafson, who played the majority of the game, 23 out of 26 stopped, 885 save percentage. I'd say the Rupe Hintz goal, which was actually the first shot of the game for the Dallas Stars, a little soft in my mind. Uh, Why Johnson and John uh, Johnston and Mason Marchman, I'd say those goals really nothing you could do about them. Um, so again, I thought he was decent in the series, but not solid enough. I, I didn't think the Minnesota wild defense played up to their standard of what they were able and capable of doing in this series. And at the end of the day, the Dallas stars were just the better team in this series. So I look forward to seeing the Dallas stars moving forward in and throughout the playoffs. I expect them to go pretty decently far in 
and especially if they can get some pretty favorable matchups we'll have to wait and see on the dallas stars but that's it for this video guys that's it for this recap let me know what you guys thought about this game as well as what your predictions thoughts and x factors moving forward for the dallas stars are if you are a fan of either of these teams or just enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button that's going to be it for this episode i hope you guys have a good one and as always stay dusty